A Salem rally at the Capitol in May proclaimed support for Oregon's most vulnerable youth. We need to stand up to protect trans kids and all of our kids. Nancy Hawk runs Basic Rights Oregon, an LGBTQ advocacy group. We're out here fighting for them. The organization is tracking anti-LGBTQ rhetoric. We saw this month how Republican candidate for governor Stan Pulliam made anti-transgender policies a key part of his campaign. He'll lead the fight to not allow transgender athletes because my girls shouldn't have to play against boys. That seems really focused on destroying the mental health of already vulnerable youth. State guidance in 2016 told schools trans youth should be treated consistent with gender identity and not excluded from any program or activity. But a Willamette Week report shows most conservative candidates for governor would push to change that and allow discrimination in sports based on gender identity. That includes Betsy Johnson and Christine Drazen. It has become a battlefield, a wedge issue. Jen Burlton runs Transactive at Lewis and Clark College, advocating for trans rights. I do a great deal of debunking of myths. Work that continues. In Oregon, we have fought over 30 anti-LGBTQ ballot measures. Basic Rights Oregon worries more could be on the way. The Human Rights Campaign says a record 34 states introduced anti-transgender bills last year, with even more added in 2022. It's like it's all coming around again. Robin Will is president of the Gay and Lesbian Archives of the Pacific Northwest and feels history is repeating itself. Where it's happening all around us and it's happening a whole lot faster than I really thought it would. The renewed push for anti-LGBTQ laws reminds him of Oregon Measure 9. Well, it's winnable, obviously. The 1992 and 2000 ballot measures sponsored by Lon May Bond would have banned schools from mentioning homosexuality, lumping it in with pedophilia and other, quote, abnormal and perverse behaviors. People had to hide who they were. Kristen Knapp and fought Measure 9. We had all been pretty marginalized and beaten down during that campaign. Advocates had to pour more than a million dollars into a campaign to defeat it. Which doesn't mean we won anything. It means we kept things from getting any worse. <laughs> And now, more than 20 years later, similar rules are solidifying themselves at more local levels. One example, yeah. Newburgh School District banning Black Lives Matter and pride symbols. And then ultimately, too, that these identities are not political. They're not political. And if you believe in an individual's rights, then it's people's right to be who they are. Basic Rights Oregon says groups like Parents' Rights in Education have organized campaigns around the state to influence school boards. Very controversial curriculums. Against lessons about sexual orientation and gender identity. There are only two sexes. I know what my body parts are. Nobody from that group responded to KGW's request for comment, but a member of another group called Oregon Moms Union did. So much division right now on all fronts. Corey Haynes is Clackamas County Chair of Oregon Moms Union. She pushed against North Clackamas School District using this gender-bred person worksheet in her son's fifth grade class for students to discuss gender expression, identity, and attraction. Very embarrassed. You know, there was girls in the class, you know, watching what he was going to circle. The district said the worksheet was in response to some students using derogatory language about the gender and sexual identity of fellow students. We do need to have compassion. Haynes is glad the district responded to the bullying, but felt the specific class-wide lesson should have come with a warning to parents. It made you feel blindsided. Unlike some others in these parents' rights groups, Haynes is open to LGBTQ and gender issues being discussed in school. I, I do think that these things need to be learned. I think that they just be, need to be a little bit more thoughtful and intentional. Gender identity and sexuality are things that people are, are born with and kids often know pretty early without anyone telling them about it. I know as a kid, I wished I was straight because it would have made my life a whole lot easier back then. Oh. What better way would you say these identities could be presented where you feel like that could be all inclusive beyond the identities that we see in the mainstream all the time? You know, if somebody doesn't want to have some of these things presented to their child, you know, in fifth grade, but maybe is okay with it in, you know, freshman or, you know, a little bit later, um, I feel like that should be their right. No matter the intent, fights over LGBTQ issues have a big impact on youth. Feeling like they shouldn't exist. And those feelings lead to suicidality. A national survey by the Trevor Project showed 94% of LGBTQ youth reported recent politics negatively impacted their mental health. 42% seriously considered suicide, including half of trans and non-binary youth. What would your message be to them? Continue to believe that you can thrive 
and survive and be the amazing human being that you already are. Some Democratic lawmakers in Oregon have joined more than a dozen other states in pushing to offer legal refuge to displaced transgender youth and families. That means families being pursued with legal action in other states for offering kids gender-affirming care would not be pursued in places like Oregon. But with anti-LGBTQ efforts also gaining traction, it will be up to voters to speak up on future discriminatory policy. How close do you think we are to something like that happening again? I hope not very close. I would say take nothing for granted. We need to be really aware at this moment of all the attacks that are happening on our community and really putting them to the forefront. So this week, we will also hear from transgender youth directly in Oregon about their experience and how early they knew their identities. And they really challenged this debate over how early it is to discuss these topics, with some knowing as early as kindergarten. Ashley? 